this is a normal bacon cheeseburger, but I don't know why there's so many stuff on it. And um, plus, that's huge. This is Lowdy6 here with another video, and I'm not doing Chinese food today. Actually, we're gonna do Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Now, in 1986, when Five Guys opened up here in the East Coast, uh, specifically in the Virginia, D.C. area, um, a lot of people kind of flocked to it. It became this kind of answer to these mega chains like Burger King and Wendy's and McDonald's. But because they've expanded to the West Coast, they're now encroaching on the much beloved territory of In-N-Out Burger, which West Coast people claim to be one of the best burgers in America. Now, what I'm actually gonna do today is have, not me, but my Chinese wife to actually review Five Guys Burgers and Fries menu items. We're gonna do one normal burger, we're gonna do a secret menu item, and also take a look at some of their fries as well. So join me as we go inside. A lot of random fries all over. It's unbelievably messy. I mean, like, like it because it's over yeah. loaded. Yeah. That makes them to feel like a, they got a good deal. Yeah. We got stacks of cheese, and I don't get why this bun is like inside. <laughs> I thought this should supposed to be in there, right? Secret menu. Okay. Have you ever had a grilled cheese sandwich? No, no. I never had a grilled cheese sandwich before. That's why they try to make it look like a sandwich. Yeah. Okay. A little salty. Really? Mm. But really cheesy though. I kind of like it. Since I'm not the expert of fast food, I'm not like a big fan of fast food. Like, I don't really have any comparison other than the Chinese Madonna and KFC, which is really, really bad. So um, there's nothing similar with it. But uh, I can give it like 6 out of 10. It's pretty good. I want to eat a pure, uh, the pure one first. Mm. It tastes really good. I never had this kind before. Like, you know, in China, they usually it's like all saggy and gross and stuff. I'm not a big fan of vinegar. Mm, ketchup is okay. But I prefer, like, you can directly eat it. I will give it 7 out of 10. I like it a lot. This is a normal bacon cheeseburger, but I don't know why there's so many stuff on it. and. Um, Plus, that's huge. Let me try it. I can't even really have the bite. <laughs> Give me a second. This burger is amazing. It's so good that I can't even talk about it. Apparently this is all the way burger. They throw all the stuff in it. It's just a really nice touch, like mushrooms, onions, and bacons, and beef and cheese, and vegetable in it. I mean, I'm seriously, seriously love it. But I'm just a, a normal Chinese girl, not gonna eat that much. I don't know how can I fill up two burger in my burger locker. <laughs> so um, we'll see. Can I actually walk out of this door? You gotta finish these fries too. Oh, you must be kidding. Well, you finished one burger already. <laughs> Come on. Oh my gosh. I love it, but I don't want it to turn out to my, be my nightmare. I want to just enjoy it. Please help me out, please. Nope. <laughs> it balance with the meat, the cheese, and the vegetable, and the fresh ingredient. That's just awesome. I will give it definitely 9 out of 10. That's the best burger I ever had in my whole life. But, well, since I'm not an expert about fast food, so um, it's awesome. Unlimited peanuts? Yeah, why don't you go grab some? You mean, can we take it home? Uh, it's up to you. 
Really? Why don't you go grab some? Where are they? Right behind it. You mean those like whole stack of them? Yeah, see those sacks and also that those boxes there. Go grab some. I wonder if those those like Chinese dama came over here, will they like <laughs> carry the whole bag home? <laughs> My grandma will. <laughs> What's going on? Shh, it's free. <laughs> it's tasty too. I mean like don't waste it, you know? Fair enough. <laughs> oh, by the way, can we actually fill up the soda? Yeah, free refill. <laughs> it's a nice place. Let's come back again. <laughs> Overall, I love Five Guys. It's seriously 9 out of 10, like from my perspective. Like free drink fill up and then free peanuts and this overdose. <laughs> so um, yeah, seriously, I will come back again. It's an amazing place. There's nothing more American than big ass burgers and guns. And speaking of guns, go check out Winston Serpent Zede's video where he took his Chinese wife to a shooting range where he actually took her to shoot a bunch of different guns. It's crazy, crazy stuff. And it actually shocked Vivi, my own wife, to see how many guns there actually were in America. Speaking of culture shock, in the next Lao Six episode, we're going to be talking about the things that shocked Vivi the most about her trip to America. So please stay tuned. Also, don't click off just yet. Bloopers are coming up. How are you doing? Can I get a bacon cheeseburger? Bacon cheeseburger? Uh, with everything on it. And also, I heard about a secret menu item. It's a double, it's a double cheese, grilled cheese burger. You don't know about it? Okay. Sure, thanks. It's got the bread instead of the bun. <laughs> double grilled cheeseburger. No, he wants that. You just say you want a double grilled cheeseburger. Yeah, but that was after the burger. Yeah, also that. So you want both? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know we did. Yeah, yeah, large drink, right? <laughs> oh, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I know this one is like gluten eggy thing they call soup, which is totally different than the Chinese one. Unless it's hot. But this, what the heck is this? That's like so. American way to eat stuff then. This is wonton? <laughs> wonton crackers. Wait, that's kind of weird. It actually tastes like Vietnamese food to me because they actually have this kind. It's three. <laughs> three out of 10. They're just so far off. But what about the taste? It tastes okay. I can give it a five. Five, five. Yeah. So this is called beef broccoli. Let me try. Mmm. Actually, I gotta admit, the beef quality is actually really good. Like way better than any restaurant, like random restaurant I can ever go in China. And the taste. It's okay, but it's not like it's a little bit different because like a lot of things they they use it just like really stewy, um, like sticky. So I think it actually reminds me of the Jiangsu area, Shanghai area kind of cuisine. So um, it tastes pretty good. If I can uh, compare with a dish in China, just maybe also call like a beef and broccoli and stuff. Um, they're quite similar, but I gotta admit, the beef quality is way higher. I like it. Is this a Chinese dish? I give it um, eight out of 10. The taste rating is seven out of 10. Not to uh, correct you, but why are you using a fork? Oh, by the way, yeah, why? <laughs> you got it all in. <laughs> Full American. What's this? A vegetarian dish? What is this? This is called chow mein, which is chow mein. Wait, what? Where's the noodle? <laughs> There's no noodles. 
something got lost in translation and chow mein in America is actually called lo mein, which is the noodles, and chow mein is actually fr stir fried vegetables. What? That's so boring and I want a chow mein, a real chow mein, the noodle, and fry, 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 fry.